Sharks, it is the inflatable sea lion here, and today I'm going to be talking about aquarium oil, aquarium slick, or scum, or whatever you call it, sludge, I don't know. But I will be talking about how to prevent it, how to know if you have it, how to get rid of it, and all of that stuff, and how it forms. That's another one thing I'm going to talk about. So. If you don't know what it looks like, I will insert a picture right here. So now you know what it looks like. Now you know how to get rid of it if you already have it. But before you get rid of it, you need to know how it starts. So you can prevent it from happening again or prevent it from happening at all. And a lot of people say it's because of oil that fish produce or oil that the food produces. However, this is just a myth. I had aquarium oil form on the surface of my tank while it was cycling. Before I even put fish in the tank or food, I had oils form on the surface. So there is pretty much a lot of ways it can happen. And pretty much it won't really happen if you have a filter that moves the surface of your water. Now, I'm saying if you fill up your water to like the level, like the surface level that the filter disperses the water, like it shoots it back out. It will move the whole surface of the water. And I know it gets annoying when you're feeding your fish, but that prevents aquarium oil the most way because you're stirring it up and that's how I fixed it while I was cycling my tank. I pretty much filled the water higher and then it moved the water. So when it started moving the water, it was gone in like an hour or two. So that is pretty much the only way you can really get rid of it. You can even stick like a net, an aquarium net in there and just stir the water around yourself and that will break it up a little bit, but the filter is the best way to go. Now, another way to prevent fish oil, if you have a filter that moves to water and you still have it, you can reduce overfeeding, overstocking. Yes, my tank is extremely overstocked, so it's sort of um, hypocritical that I would say that, but it's overstocked because I will be moving. I'm moving my fish tanks in a week, so I have to keep all my fish together, and I will be doing tank tours once they're set up, but it's going to be a while, probably like November, like somewhere in November, the second, first or second week, I don't know, but pretty much, yeah. That is that. I will also be filming a Christmas haul of everything I get and buy and get from other people. Yep. So that will be interesting. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. But anyway, besides that point, reduce your feeding, reduce the stocking in your tank. And that's pretty much how you prevent it from happening. I already told you how you um, get rid of it moving water and stuff. There's like nothing you can really spray on the surface. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure the only way to get rid of the oils, it's sort of like an oil spill in the ocean. Like you just need to, I don't know. <laughs> it takes work, but it will be removed if you do it the right way. But aquarium oils are a little different than ocean oils because they're naturally in the water. It's just you see how in the ocean waves occur and all that and that stirs up the water naturally. So you stir up the water naturally in your fish tank by having a filter or an air pump or something that moves the water. So off that point. That is all you really need to know about aquarium oil, aquarium slick, aquarium sludge, aquarium slime. Um, yep. So now you're an expert on it. Now you can prevent it. Now you can get rid of it. Now you know if you have it, number one, because it comes in many forms. It could be rainbowy, like shiny rainbowy oil. It could be like yellowish color. 
it can just look like a white film. Like, there's a lot of forms it comes in, so... I just recommend moving the water for any sort of sludge that comes up on your tank, and you'll be pretty good. So, thanks for watching. If you're not part of the Shark Pool already, make sure to join us by clicking subscribe, and see you little sharks.